What's up guys, it's Nathan Ross here and in this video I'm going to be going over how to make affiliate sales with Facebook groups. Facebook groups are a great free traffic method to implement to generate affiliate sales in any niche. Whether you're selling camping gear, weight loss supplements, or investor training, there are plenty of Facebook groups out there with tons of people in them that are wanting solutions to their problems. My favorite part about Facebook groups is people flock to them to seek knowledge within a particular topic. This provides a great opportunity for people that are selling products, whether they're physical products or info products to that particular niche. Let's hop in my computer and I'll break down exactly how to make affiliate sales with Facebook groups. All right, we are in my computer and I'm going to be breaking down how to make affiliate sales with Facebook groups. So getting into it, um, what you're going to want to do before you get started is you should have a product to sell with a niche that you've already picked out. And if you guys don't have a niche, check out my last video right here where I go over the 36 top profitable niches within affiliate marketing. Um, and that's definitely going to help you out. So once you have your product and your niche, then let's just jump right into it on how to generate sales with Facebook groups. So what you're going to want to do is you want, you're going to want to join groups and introduce yourself. So you'll want to join groups that are relevant to your niche that are in your niche. So if you are selling weight loss supplements or you're selling camping gear, or whatever, find different groups that are within those exact niches, weight loss, camping gear, whatever your niche is. And a lot of these groups are going to be closed because they want to kind of keep out people that are just trying to pitch and just trying to, you know, put, put a link in there and stuff like that. And so this is actually a good thing because you're able to, you know, separate yourself because um, you're not just going to be sending out your link, which, you know, you should never do. Um, you definitely want to be posting value and, and generating relationships and stuff like that. What you're going to be wanting to do is join about 10 to 20 of these groups. Um, you want to join enough of them so you get enough exposure. You don't want to join too many because too many could cause you not to be active in a lot of them. And that's kind of, beside, uh, you know, against the point we're trying to do. Usually what I'll do is I'll join about 10 to 20 groups. And then once they accept me into the group, what I'll do is I'll introduce myself. Now, a lot of people don't do this is kind of one of the main reasons. I do do it is because it, it makes you stand out. And so the other thing is that it gives you a little bit of space to be able to tell, you know, some of your story or at least, you know, portray some level of knowledge within the topic that you're joining the group about. Now, you don't have to be super knowledgeable or you don't have to have a ton of results within a particular niche to be able to do this. But those things definitely help. Typically, you know, if I'm in say a weight loss group, for example, and you know, I'm saying, Hey, you know, my name's Nathan, thanks for accepting me into the group. You know, I lost 30 pounds over the last three months. Um, you know, doing a few different processes or something like that. Now, what that does is basically puts it out there that you have someone that you're someone with results. You obviously have information that a lot of people don't, and it's usually going to pique a lot of people's curiosity, get people to like and comment on that post, maybe message you privately. Um, and this is definitely a good thing. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of get into that as we go along within the different strategies. So um, you, you want to introduce yourself. Now you'll want to engage and build relationships within the group. So you, you don't want to just join a group and then just kind of sit there and maybe post your link every once in a while. You want to engage. You want to respond to people's questions. You want to friend other people with that are also active and, and engaging in the group. You want to, you know, message those people, build those relationships. And, you know, when you do all these things over time, you're going to be looked at as an authority. Because the thing is, is that if you're always responding to people's questions, if you're, you know, always, you know, messaging different people and, and just providing value in general, that's, that's definitely going to be, you know, a, a really crucial thing, especially when it comes to generating sales. One, one tip that I have is you want to turn on post notifications for the group just so then when everyone's and whenever someone makes a post within the group then you're one of the first people to like and comment and respond to that question or just engage um, because over time every people everyone in the group is going to see that your name always popping up always going to see that you have really insightful answers now the thing is is back to what I was saying before you don't have to be super knowledgeable but it is highly encouraged that you either are already you know pretty into a niche or you, you're already you know an expert or someone that knows a lot about it or someone that's constantly seeking knowledge about it and that you're interested in the topic because what this is going to do is it's going to give you a huge edge over everyone else in the group because if you constantly read books and you know take courses and just consume knowledge about the space that you're trying to sell to you're going to get to understand your niche a lot better you're going to get to understand your audience a lot better um, but also you're going to be able to provide a lot more value to more people because if you know a little bit more than someone else even if it's one percent you're going to be looked at as an authority within that interaction so it's really important that you know a good amount um, or you're constantly seeking knowledge like if you just read a book and you you know you got a bunch of data points it doesn't mean you're an expert but you have a good amount of data and if you're putting that you know into the group responding to questions whatever it might be then you know that's going to provide a lot of value to the to the people in the group um, so then the third thing is you're going to want to provide value so you're going to want to make your own posts that kind of what I was just saying is you know is if you're getting other people's knowledge and then you're putting into your own words putting into your into your own experiences and putting it out there um, it's going to show that you know you're separating yourself a lot of people just don't make posts 
posts um, besides like little questions. But if you're, you know, pr providing value, giving out tips and tricks and stuff like that, that's definitely going to help a lot over time. Again, that's, you know, after posting very consistently and posting valuable content, a lot of people are going to see you as, okay, well, you know, this person really knows what they're talking about. They might, you know, comment, you know, asking where you learned all this stuff, or, you know, they might message you privately um, to be able to, you know, communicate with you further. Now, the biggest thing with all of this is to understand your target market and their biggest problems. Because if you understand your target market's problems, it's going to be very easy for you to position yourself and position the product you're selling as an affiliate as a direct solution to those problems. And so you can do this whether you're you're getting a lot of the same questions within the group or you are getting a lot of people messaging you privately asking relatively the same questions. That's where it makes it really easy for you to bring up your affiliate product because if people are getting a lot of value from, from your answers or just from your posts in general and then they see that, okay, well, I can message you privately, maybe get a little bit more information or whatever it might be, then, you know, it's going to it's gonna make it so you can be able to sell your product but not like pitch it and, you know, make it all salesy and stuff like that. But more so if someone coming to you for more information, trying to figure out how to accelerate the results or how to get, you know, more knowledge about the space. And you can easily be like, oh, well, this is a product or a program or an ebook or something that I consume that helped you help me a lot with that. Now, the thing is, is when it comes to affiliate marketing, it's very, very powerful for you to be perceived as an authority, someone that, you know, has credibility, someone that has a lot of knowledge or results or whatever it might be. And people coming to you wanting those things, wanting more knowledge, wanting more, uh, you know, credibility, wanting more results and basically asking you how you did it and you basically just providing them with the exact resources that got you there and those happen to be your affiliate links because the thing is that makes it a very very smooth transition from a casual conversation to a sale which is obviously the the main thing that you guys are doing this for some things that you need to know is is gonna be don't post your link in every post or reply no one likes you know someone that's gonna keep selling um, and so what you want to do is basically just kind of keep it to a minimum you only want to post your link to your landing page or your your affiliate link or whatever it might be when it's very, very relevant to the question. Like if someone's like, Hey, does anyone know, you know, a really good weight loss supplement? And then you're like, Oh, this one helped me a lot. And you know, it's a link to, you know, an Amazon affiliate link or something like that. Then that's, that's relevant, but you don't want to, you know, answer every question and then have your affiliate link right below it or every post that you do. Um, I will say every once in a while, you know, you, when you make a post, um, you can be like, Oh, you know, this is where I learned a lot more about this strategy and then have a, you know, affiliate link to a, a course or a pro program or something that they can learn more about or something like that. Um, and so you need to focus on giving before taking. So you want to give, give, give value. So respond to people's questions, provide value and build that relationship within a one-on-one -on -one setting, whether it's a, you know, friending someone on Facebook or messaging them privately and kind of building that up. Um, but you want to provide value, provide value, provide value. And then every once in a while, you'll, you'll want to go for that call to action, that CTA where someone can click on your link or someone can, something can, uh, someone can buy something for you from you or whatever it might be. Typically what I do for that is I follow the 80 20 principle, which if, if those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically 20% um, of the actions you do result in 80% of the revenue or the results. And that's also on the flip side, 80% of what you do results in 20% of the, the output. Important for you to understand, you know, what that 20% is for you, where that really correlates to this method specifically. It's basically you want to give out 80% value and 20% CTA. And so what that does is it focuses focuses on providing, providing way more value than, than call to actions to buy a product. And that's definitely going to help you out a lot more with your authority and, and credibility within these groups. And so the last thing is to know when to stop selling. Um, no one wants someone to keep selling them, keep selling them after they've told them no, not interested or whatever. That's the thing is, is you definitely do not want to get to that point within any of these groups because then your, you know, your credibility and your authority goes way, way down. And you know, that correlates to not a lot of sales and things like that, which you obviously don't want. Always make sure you're providing way more value than, than you're selling. Um, so I really quickly want to go into um, just kind of a brief example of what you could do. So if say you, you know, go on ClickBank, JVZoo, Amazon Associates, some other affiliate network, and you find a gardening product that's selling really, really well, you know, you can make a, a pretty solid commission on it. You're like, sure, you know, I'm pretty interested in gardening. I've done it myself. You know, I know my way around it, or, you know, I'm really into gardening now. I'm really trying to get into it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to seek knowledge within it, whatever it might be. You might search up gardening. And the thing is, is that there's, uh, you know, tons and tons of groups 
groups on here that that are all about different tips, different tricks and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I could keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling about all these different gardening groups, but see like this one, 143,000 members. Now, the thing is, is that you can join a bunch of these groups. A lot of them are probably going to be closed. Just, uh, well, they're not going to be secret because you can see them, but a lot of them are going to be closed, which is good because then it kind of weeds out a lot of people. But adding yourself to a lot of these groups and once you are added, then if you, you know, make a post, say something like, hey, my name's Nathan. You know, I've been gardening for the last month or so. This is, you know, some of the results I've been able to generate. You don't want to sound like salesy or like you're trying to, to give off this vibe that you're an expert, but more so just documenting what you've done. So for example, if I'm not really into gardening, so this might sound completely wrong, but this is just an example. Say, you know, a lot of people in the group are having a problem with growing tomatoes or something like that. Then you making a post saying, hey, my name's Nathan. You know, I've been gardening for about three months now. I have a lot of different vegetables within my garden, or fruits or whatever. You know, I have tomatoes, I have carrots, celery, whatever it is. Then, you know, if you talk about, oh, you know, I was really having trouble with growing tomatoes, but I finally figured it out. And, you know, now I've been growing tomatoes for the last like couple of weeks and I'm, I'm getting a ton of ripe tomatoes, whatever it is. What that basically details is a lot of people within the group already don't know how to do that. And you obviously do. And so that's going to pique a lot of people's interest, get them wanting to, you know, like, comment on your post and maybe even message you be like, Hey, how do you, you know, grow your tomatoes? And if there was a certain, you know, physical product, like some sort of, you know, scooper or something special that you used or some sort of informational product, like an ebook or a video training program or something like that, that taught you that. And that's a perfect way for you to transition into an affiliate sale um, through message or through someone just commenting on your post or whatever it might be. So that was just a pretty brief example. But yeah, so let's take it back to the video. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post more money making content. If you guys have any questions about the process I went over today with Facebook groups or just general affiliate marketing questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below as I respond to all comments. If you guys have a little bit more specific questions, feel free to DM or email me. Those will be in the description. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.